Zanu PF yesterday set conditions for talks with Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC leader Nelson Chamisa, saying he must first publicly distance himself from British politicians. Addressing a press conference in Harare yesterday, Zanu PF spokesperson Christopher Mitzvangwa said the ruling party was open for talks with Chamisa on condition he disassociates himself from statements made by Lord Jonathan Oates in the British House of Lords supporting him. We call upon the CCC to order and distance themselves from John Oath's statements. How do we negotiate with you when you are associated with such statements? Jamisa should be patriotic by distancing himself from such statements if he is willing to talk to us, Metzvangwa said. In 2008, Zanu PF entered into talks with the then MDC led by the late trade unionist Morgan Svangeri following the disputed harmonized elections, resulting in the formation of an inclusive government. The unity government brought relative stability as the economy dollarized after world record breaking hyperinflation made the Zimbabwe dollar worthless. There are mounting calls for the country to dollarize as inflation creeps towards hyper levels, racing to 96.4% last week. Oates told the British Parliament that the March 26 by elections were held in an unlevel electoral field against Chimisa CCC with Douglas Munzora's MDC alliance which he described as a ZANU-PF project, having it easy. In those elections, the main opposition party was denied the right even to use its own name in these elections or to access the public funds it was entitled to, Oates said. However, Metzvangwa said Oates had no business poking his nose into the country's affairs. For a British lord to have the temerity that we don't like Douglas Munzora, MDC alliance leader, because he is not opposed to ZANU-PF the way we like 